which is if alpha and beta be the roots of j and x is equal to 0 then we have to prove integration of x j and alpha x into j and beta x dx is equal to 0 where alpha is not equal to beta where integrating limit is 0 to 1 proof here we have considered two basis equation first is x square u double dash plus x u dash plus alpha square x square minus n square u is equal to 0 and second one is x square v double dash plus x v dash plus beta square x square minus n square v is equal to 0 it is obvious that the solution of these two uh, basis equation first is u is equal to j n alpha x and second is v is equal to j n beta x respectively now by multiplying equation first with v upon x and equation second with u upon x and then subtracting we get x into u double dash v minus u v double dash plus u dash v minus u v dash plus alpha square minus beta square x u v is equal to 0 and this can be written as differentiation of x u dash v minus u v dash with respect to x is equal to beta square minus alpha square into x u v now integrating both sides with respect to x between the limits 0 and 1 hum integration uh, is le rahe hain aur kyunki hamara integration hai aur 0 se 1 limit hai so after integrating with respect to x and taking limit 0 to 1 we have beta square minus alpha square integration of 0 1 x u v dx is equal to x u dash v minus u v dash limit from 0 to 1 after putting limit we have u dash v minus u v dash at x is equal to 1 here we have root as u is equal to j n alpha x so differentiation of u is equal to uh, with respect to x is d upon dx in j n alpha x is equal to d of d upon d alpha x j n alpha x dot d alpha x upon dx which is alpha into j n alpha x this time we have ka differentiation kiya x ke respect mein in similar way we can differentiate v with respect to x, x and we have v dash is equal to beta j n dash beta x and by putting u v u dash and v dash in equation third we get integration from 0 to 1 x j n alpha x into j n beta x dx is equal to alpha j n dash alpha j n beta minus beta j n alpha j n dash beta upon beta square minus alpha square we have taken it as equation 4 now if alpha and beta are two distinct roots then j n x is equal to 0 and then j n alpha is also 0 because j n x is 0 and similarly j n beta is also 0 by putting these two in equation 4 we have integration from 0 to 1 x j n alpha x into j n beta x dx because j n alpha or beta do 